So I've been making videos on YouTube that show my photography and what I've noticed is that when I use Premiere Pro to um, to edit my uh, videos and put the photos in there, the photos are completely different color. They're actually much more dull, um, lifeless, just really unattractive. So uh, I want to just show you, if you're having this problem, how to correct it. It's actually very easy. So you have two files. You have a JPEG file and you probably have a PSD, which is a Photoshop file. You can either import the JPEG file and then play with the color management that way, or you can import the PSD. I'd like to show you the difference between doing one versus the other. So I have this video that I'm working on here. I'm going to open up my finder and I have two files. They're the same picture. It's of this duck that's walking along the beach. And then first I'm going to show you what happens if I import the JPEG into my video. Okay, and then I'm also going to show you what happens in contrast to, uh, to that when I import the PSD into my video. So when you import the PSD, it may ask you if you want to merge all of the layers. And for this, I just say yes. Okay, so now I'm going to select both clips and I'm going to bring them into my timeline. Now, because they're really big images, I'm going to have to just resize them. I'm going to click on the clip, make sure that my little line here is over top of it so that you can see it here in the preview screen. And I'm going to go over to the effect controls, click on scale, and I'm going to resize it down so I can see the whole photo. Okay, I'm going to do the same thing here for the PSD. I'm going to click on it and resize it in the effect controls. And you can probably already see the difference right there. I'm just going to show you. If I hover over this first one and I'm going to click play, and I want you to watch here in the preview screen the difference between the one photo, the JPEG, which is the first one, versus the PSD. So here it goes. JPEG and the PSD. As you can see, the colors are much more vibrant. Uh, they're definitely truer to the original that I edited in Photoshop, and it was just a very simple thing, and it's much easier to do than to import the JPEG and then try and play around with the, um, the color. So there you have it, a quick, easy tip on how to improve uh, photos that you've brought into Premiere Pro.